Good morning. So, trying this out today. Oh, that music. There we go. Oh, is that? Can I have a little bit more? So, Trap Town reached out to me on my YouTube. It was like, hey, do you want to be YouTube friends? And I'm like, cool. Um, Oh, that's good. That's at Costco. That's not bad. Um, and I'm like, yeah, I would love to. You know, I've used their music before. I like their music. It is, uh, I, I, I like their music. So today, today we're going to do a get ready with me as per normal. Um, I don't really have a whole lot to do. I'm just going to be cleaning. I got to clean the front room. I got to clean the living room. If I'm feeling extra motivated, I'll pick up around here. <sighs> the Fit Me powders everywhere. Um, and yeah. Then I'll make sure I have some lunch. I have a really yummy salad I'm gonna have for lunch today. And then I will cook my food for tomorrow to get ready. And I'm gonna cook a double portion because I haven't done any overtime yet. And I'm pretty sure I'm up for mandatory but I am gonna start doing overtime twice a week <sighs> that is the goal to overtime on Fridays and Saturdays um, I do have some stuff that's uh, pretty easy to eat uh, plus I can always swing by Ralph's because that's open 24 hours a day if I don't have food. And just, you know, just make it a habit. Make it a new lifestyle. <sighs> Sorry, I'm seeing all this stuff that needs to just get garbaged. What I want to do is next summer. Let's set that right there. Next summer, I want to overhaul how I have my makeup stuff. Because I, I have stuff everywhere, and it's starting to drive me nuts. I hate just having stuff everywhere. You know, I'm not going to do false lashes today. I want to reorganize how my drawers are. Reorganize how some of my makeup is. So, um, if you guys have any tips, or if you... Um, watch a beauty guru that you really love how they have it organized and they have a, a, a beauty room tour thing where they show how they have it organized um, let me know but also please keep in mind I can't afford some of the stuff those beauty gurus use now I'm going to go with my tried and true my Ulta Demi Mat because I love this foundation. Three pumps. I want to, like, I'm, I'm not going to go with my normal G36. I want to give this a try again. This is the Real Techniques, sorry, the Moda, they want to call it hollow, but it's the Moda brush. I don't want to see. I want to see. really flimsy it's not stiff at all you see that really long hair that's a brush hair it's this color um, why is okay Christmas music. I'm not into some Christmas music right now. I'm not sure. Mm. Mm. I still don't like it. Like, 
Maybe I can use this for powder one day. I don't know. I mean, it's pretty to have in my collection. Hello. Oh well. Oh, you guys. I really don't have anything to do today. But I wanted to do a video with you guys, a makeup video, because like... I've been doing a lot of car vlogs and 99% of my car vlogs, I am not wearing makeup because I don't wear makeup every day. I wear makeup, oh. How about that? I wear makeup a couple times a week. But what I thought of is, you know, because some some YouTubers I know, they, um, even if they're not doing anything, they'll like do a, a chatty get ready. And even though they're not doing anything, you know, they're just putting on makeup that they know in like an hour they're going to take right off, you know, and part of that is so that they have content. Y'all, you see my lips? That is legitimately stained from my Sephora lip cream stain. I love the Sephora lip cream cream stain I got a video it's awesome I got karate and gymnastics with the little one today oh man like that washed me out but like I legit you guys can see but I legit cannot it is too dark why is that not turning on you guys so I know I've talked about this in videos before oh I look more covered on these cheeks but I was talking with my bestie and she's talking about how she wants her skin to look flawless and I told her what foundation I use and how much I love this foundation you guys and um, but part of what makes your skin look flawless I mean if you guys watch my videos you guys know that I spend quite a bit of time um, Blending my foundation. And that is actually so huge as far as helping your foundation be not cakey, smooth, flawless, gorgeous. So if you can take the time to just blend for a few extra minutes, blend, 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 blend. Okay, I'm not gonna do concealer today because I don't feel like my under eyes are so bad that I need it. So I'm just not gonna do it. And anything that saves me a step, especially since I'm not really doing anything today. I love this powder. This fit me. I just wish you got more for the price. My E1. I just feel like I'm trying to do better with my YouTube and like right now it's fine because I am done with school till next week but like 
when I go back to school, I'm going to, I'm going to keep filming, but I'm like, oh my gosh, am I going to be able to keep up? Like there's stuff I want to test out. I have old foundations that I want to retry. Like, I don't remember if I ever actually tested this foundation out. I want to try this foundation out. It's Revlon Age Defined with DNA Cream Foundation and Bare Buff. I don't, um, I don't remember ever doing this, and I don't think I, I, I mean, I'll look for the video, but I want to, I want to try this out again. Now, I love this foundation, but I can't, the shade, it might be good for me now. I like this. I want to try this again. I have a video on this. I don't remember if I like that one or not. I think I did. I think I thought it was cool, especially since it's Estelada. <laughs> and it's Estelada Double Wear, two in one, desert beige. Um, um, oh, my sister has some makeup that she wants me to test it on my channel that she got. So I'm excited for that. Some Wet n Wild. Some Tarte. So I'm really excited to do that. Oh, this powder, man, you guys. Like, new love. Right here. Maybelline. Maybelline. Girl, you did it. Like, this is perfect. And 05 Fair. Oh. That's like the best. I want to start, um, what I need to do is I need to boil some eggs. I need to hard boil some eggs and put some cottage cheese in a Tupperware because, you know, new me, healthy me. Um, I do need to get a different backpack, though. Because the backpack I'm using is technically a laptop bag. So as big as it is, it actually is actually compact, so it can protect the laptop. And I just need, I just need a looser backpack so that I'm not carrying two bags to work. I can go back down to the one bag. So I think, I think once I get the front room and the living room cleaned, I will go to, I think I'll go to Burlington. They get some stuff. They, they have stuff for a fairly decent price and try to find a good backpack that I can be like, yes, this is my work backpack. This is it. And actually have everything in it that I need. Um, yeah. If not today, no, because tomorrow I have to go to my chiropractic appointment and then come home. Yeah, I won't do it tomorrow. I'll do it today. I will try to do it today. How about that? How about we say that? I will try to do it. Okay, I'm going to go with my Morphe R10. <clears throat> I just need a bag that I'm going to be happy with to carry everything I need. And I haven't been, and I go back and forth. I have, I have a couple bags, but I think I need a backpack that's just got like the one pouch and, um, and, uh, to hold what I need. I hate carrying two backpacks, to be perfectly honest. And I don't know if it's just I need a bigger backpack or um, or what, you know?
I don't know. First world problems. Why do I feel like that's not super blended today? Um, and just, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Like, I'm just, I'm actually, I'm actually not happy with the backpack that I have. And it's actually one of my dad's backpacks that I've had for a couple of years. Um, and uh, I just, I don't know you guys. I guess I'm just being crazy. But why are backpacks so expensive? could go to Walmart go a little bit before I need to go for gymnastics yeah I'll do that instead so I'll leave it like 2 30 ish head there because I always get distracted while I'm there um, and then uh, and then go to gymnastics from there yeah, that's what I'll do. That way I can still get all of my cleaning that I need done. Yeah. Let me use California. Not a huge fan of this cream highlighter. Maybe when I do a no makeup makeup day, you know? I don't even know why I said anything. This has been like my go-to, my love. I just love a rose gold highlighter. I love a silver highlighter too. But I feel like I haven't really, I've been complaining about a backpack. Let's layer on the highlight. But I gotta play it. <laughs> that hurt. Not even gonna pretend that hurt. Look how cute this brush is. I've had this uh, this G41 for like ever. Look how cute it is. It's so adorable. Maybe I'll try. Ooh, never successfully contoured my nose. Maybe. this like how you're supposed to do it? I think this is not the right color. Is that like, is that how my nose is gonna look smaller? Is this gonna help me look? Is this, this how it works? Maybe if I had the right color, because now my nose just looks dirty. I don't think I did that right. So I don't contour my nose, you guys. I don't understand how contour works. 
Like I know it makes my cheeks look less round. Oh well, it's a very soft brush, very soft brush. I'm okay with looking foolish, happens all the time. Fall into frost. I'm obsessed with this palette, you guys. <clears throat> go with the darker see and there's so much kick up and that's what cracks me up about all those oh my god there's so much kick up in this palette get over it these morphe shadows are like a dream you guys they go on they blend like butter add a little bit more of that darker shade apparently i am going for a dark eye today i'm all right with that i'm okay with that y'all um i have this huge mess sitting in front of me <clears throat> I'm gonna go with this plummy shade, oh, this plummy shade right here. Just because purple is life. I do lots of purple look, oh, that's so pretty you guys. And it looks great with that brown. I mean like I do a lot of purple in my looks because it's what I gravitate to. It's what I think looks gorgeous. It's what I like looking like. Blend that out just a little bit more. See, there's a tiny bit of fallout. That's okay, I'll take a brush. Sweep that off a little bit. And then there's so many shimmery shades. I love it! But I'm gonna go with a little bit of that. With my finger. See how it's a reddish coppery. Just pack that on. Just right at the corner. They're so creamy. Like creamy dreamy. Just pack that on. Saved it. And they wipe off your finger so easily. <clears throat> I don't know what I did with my brow powder. That's okay. My brows won't be looking intense today. So I'm going to do liner off camera and I will be back. So I decided to not do a super intense swing. Um, just, just a little bit of eyeliner. <clears throat> and I realized the mascara that I wanted to wear is in the bathroom. <sighs> so I'm going to grab a different mascara. I'm gonna go with my Lash Paradise. And 
and uh, I really love this mascara too. This does such a good job. You know what I love about finding good mascara is good mascara will last you forever, okay? Especially if it's a L'Oreal mascara, like they, they don't get rid of a lot of their mascaras. They come out with a ton of mascaras. Like Tati says L'Oreal like is like the mascara queen and I agree. Um, you can get mascara that you've been wearing and rocking since you were a kid with L'Oreal. And they do such a good job of coming out with different types of mascara. I have a mascara that I've been holding on to. I haven't tried yet because I really enjoy the mascaras that I do have. And so I just haven't ventured to try it. The manga. I've heard good things about it, and I want to try it. Okay. And for me, I don't, anything that says it's a curl, a curling mascara, I don't hold that against a mascara when I review it or if I decide if I like it, because nothing will curl these things. Nothing. All right, you guys. I think, I think it's time to call it good. I'm not gonna put lips on yet because even though I'm drinking a protein shake, I do need to eat something. So I'm gonna go boil some eggs, eat some hard boiled eggs. And I'm going to try to not, I'm going to try to have it not be one of those things that I start doing at the beginning of the year and then I don't do it. I want it to be a healthy, a step in a healthier direction. I want to make better choices for me and continue to make those better choices. So. Um, thanks for getting ready with me. I hope you love this eye look as much as I do. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.